Greetings. Greetings. Denerim, the largest city and capital of Ferelden. Long ago, the elves lived as slaves to humans, and though they've been free for many generations now, they are far from equals. Here they live in a walled-off community known as the Alienage, working as servants and laborers when they can. Despite these hardships, Denerim's elves are a strong people who take pride in their close community. This is the only world you've ever known, until now. Wake up, cousin. Why are you still in bed? It's your big day. Come on, don't make me use cold water again. You do remember what today is, don't you? A double wedding. You're getting married and so is Soros. That's what I came to tell you. Your groom, Nelleros. He's here early. What's going to happen anyway? So hold your breath and jump in. There's going to be music, decorations, feasting. Weddings are so much fun. You're so lucky. Too bad. I'm just glad I got to be the one to tell you. All right, I'll stop tormenting you. I should go talk to the other bridesmaids and find my dress. Oh, Soros said that he'll be waiting for you outside. So move it. Right.
last day I'll be able to call you that. Oh, I wish your mother could have been here. All right, time for you to go find Soros. The sooner this wedding starts, the less chance you two have to escape. <laughs> Still have your mother's smart mouth, I see. Oh, one last thing before you go, my dear. Your martial training, the sword play, knives, and whatever else your mother trains you in, best not to mention it to your betrothed. Later. Definitely later. We don't want to seem like troublemakers after all. Adaya made that mistake. Our world is full of so many injustices. Take this. Your mother would have wanted you to have it. It's the very least I can give you as you start your new life. Go on, then. I still have some things to do, and Soros is no doubt waiting for you. Go on. I'll be... be out in a little bit. This should be easy enough. She lived in the sea. I didn't love her, but I think she loved me. I brought her diamonds, rubies, silver, and gold. But all she wanted was to be saved from the cold. She begged me to catch her, convinced me I should. I promised her a house, all gray stone and wood. We made love in the sea. We made love on the shore. I was just there for playing, but she wanted more. But well, there's one small problem, you see. I can't grant her wish. My wife gets suspicious when I come home smelling like fish. Whoa, whoa. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? It's a wedding, isn't it? Hooray! Woohoo! Yeah! see the rug. We didn't leave it, did we? Many blessings, young one. We hope to stay for the celebration, but we must be off. The human who owns our building has decided to sell it for storage space. We can't afford to live anywhere else here, so we're leaving Denerim. The Ostagar ruins. The army camp there is calling for laborers. We wanted to look for work in High Ever. But that's just not possible. Moving to a different alienage isn't easy. Travel and bribes cost money. Humans are a suspicious lot. I've heard the ones in High Ever are worse than here. You're still a child. You can't do anything. Enjoy your special day and put us out of your mind. What my husband means is you're very generous, but we don't need charity to solve our problems. Many thanks. Again, blessings on your day. Wait. Can I talk to you a moment? I apologize for my parents. They're too proud to accept help, much less ask for it. My parents will labor in the army camp, and they'll expect me to do the same, but I don't like the idea of being surrounded by human soldiers who haven't seen a woman in months. I would, but my father would have to believe I have a future here. Really? All right, if you think that will help. Hello, 
Hello again. Isn't your wedding soon? My daughter? I don't take advice from children, nor do I plan to split up my family. Now excuse me. That's unusual. I'm listening. Does he? And I'm supposed to trust some mysterious figure who sends messages through children. Please, maybe we should just hear her out. No, we don't have time for games. Good day. Good luck with the ball and chain. <laughs> You're lucky you made such a good match. Congratulations on the day. Soros is getting married? That's good. He needs a woman to look after him. Hello there. Congratulations on the big day. Have you seen Soros? Well, if you see him, ask him to come by and say hello, will you? Congratulations. Well, it's around the eyes, mostly. I still don't see it. Whenever I look, I just see the mother. The mother was far more delicate. It's the same sort of nose, you must admit that. The breeding shows. Well, oh, there you go again with breeding. We're not horses, you know. Of course not, but bloodlines are important, that's all I'm saying. I think the whole notion is ridiculous. Well, you've got the freedom to... Th think so. You come from good stock. Well, it's the lucky bride herself. Hello, dear. Oh, now, love, she probably doesn't remember us. Oh, of course. I'm Dilwen, and this is Gethon. We were friends of your mother's. We haven't seen much of you since... Well... Your father still doesn't speak of her, does he? Adaya was beautiful, and full of life, and a bit wild. She wanted you more than anything. It's sad she never got to see you all grown up. We just wanted to see you today and express our good wishes. It means the world to us to see you happy. We've saved a bit of money for this day. We'd... We'd like you to have it. To help start your new life. Make her bless you. So I see you got yourself a big, handsome hulk of a husband. Excuse me if I don't congratulate you. Don't act like you care. Your father has the money to get you a great match. Meanwhile, what did I get? A fat old man who smells like the docks and wouldn't know what to do with a woman, even if he was sober. You think you're better than me? Well, you're not. I may have got a poor match, but at least I have some dignity. Wench! Ma'am, spare a coin for a man who was ruined trying to help his family. I worked on the docks, living day to day, never knowing if my family would go hungry. The humans always left us the dangerous the beams of the warehouses or in the water. I was rigged up cleaning the side of a ship when it drifted against another and my legs were crushed between.
The human foreman had me hauled out and dumped in an alley. My sons didn't find me until day's end. So now I live on the charity of those who don't even have enough for themselves. May the Maker's eyes look down with love on your day. Well, if it isn't my lucky cousin. <laughs> Care to celebrate the end of our independence together? Are you insane? Where would you go? Into the woods to live with the Dalish elves? Of course I'm right. Besides, why would you run? Apparently your groom's a dream come true. My bride sounds like a dying mouse. Great. I'll spend the next 50 years with a nice girl who hides grain away for the winter. Let's go introduce you to your dreamy betrothed before you say I do. It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig. Please, my lord. We're celebrating weddings here. Silence, worm. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but maybe we shouldn't get involved. Try to be diplomatic, shall we? What's this? Another lovely one come to keep me company. Maybe you should invite us over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea who I am? Son. What? Oh, Maker. You've a lot of nerve, knife ears. This'll go badly for you. Oh, I really messed up this time. It'll be all right. He, he won't tell anyone an elven woman took him down. I, I hope so. I should get cleaned up. Is everybody else all right? I think we're just shaken. What was that about? <laughs> Looks like the Arl's son started drinking too early. Um, well, let's not let this ruin the day. Uh, uh, this is Valora, my betrothed. I am a lucky man to be so warmly welcomed. Uh, I'm sure the two of you have a lot to discuss. Well, here we are. Are you nervous? I thought I'd stay calm, but now we've met. <laughs> Let's just say I'm not calm. I think you're right. I'm looking forward to seeing how life unfolds. Come on, cousin. We should let them get ready. We'll see you two in a bit. Don't disappear on us. Or we'll come find you. Don't look now, but we have another problem. A 
Another human just walked in. Could be one of Vaughn's or just a random troublemaker. Either way, we need to move him along before someone does something stupid. Let's do this quickly. I wish my wedding There'd better be dancing. As all this. It's not a real wedding without dancing. There's the man of the hour. How are you, Soros? I'm well. This is my cousin, the bride. The other bride, not my bride. We've met on occasion. Blessings on the day, both of you. There is something you should know, Soros. My brothers won't be coming. They left to find the Dalish, you see. Very well. Theodore? We'll catch up later. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. <laughs> what manner of unpleasantness might you be referring to? I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. She keeps her composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It's been far too long. Oh? Changing your tune so quickly? <laughs> May I present Duncan? Head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Caelan summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding, too, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, treat Duncan as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. Was there something else? By all means. Valandrian and I have known each other for almost 20 years. Since the time I tried to recruit your mother, in fact. I did. Your mother was a fiery woman. She would have made an excellent Grey Warden. I never made the offer. Valendrian convinced me that it was better for her to remain here with her family. As there was no blight and thus no immediate need for recruits, I deferred to his wishes. But it seems she passed her training on to you. Am I right? I've already heard a great deal about you, if you must know. But we can speak more of this later. You have a wedding to attend. Was there something else? By all means. All in good time. I suggest you have your celebration while you can. We dedicate our lives to fighting Darkspawn wherever they appear, doing whatever it takes to stop them. It is our only charge. In fact, some of our greatest heroes have been Elven. The Warden Garahel, he that slew the last Archdemon, was such a one. I could tell you a great deal more about them, but I suspect you've other things to do at the moment. My best wishes to you both. you'd run off. No, I'm here. 
with Nella Ross's blushing bride in tow. You look radiant. It looks like everyone's ready. You too, cousin. Maybe it won't be so bad after all. Friends and family, today we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valandrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the maker who brought us this world, and in... son and his appetites are... My lord, this is an unexpected surprise. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party, and uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> My lord, this is a wedding! Ha! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? Just a good time with the ladies, that's all. <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and... Where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. Don't worry, I won't let them take you. Ah, oh, yes. Such a well-formed little thing. You villains! Oh, that's quite enough. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure we all want to avoid further um, unpleasantness. Let me think. Um... No. Oh, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Stop it. You're driving me insane. Oh, thank the Maker you've come to. We were so worried. We're scared but unharmed. So far, they locked us in here to wait until that bastard is ready for us. Forgive me if I don't hold my breath. The door is locked and solid and we're unarmed. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Great. Now, this again. Look, we'll do what they want. Go home and try to forget this ever happened. She's right. It'll be worse if we resist. It'll be worse if we don't. Someone's coming. Hello, wenches. We're your escorts to Lord Vaughan's little party. Stay away from us! <gasps> you killed her! I suppose that's what happens when you try teaching whores some respect. Now, you grab the little flower cowering in the corner. Horace and I'll take the homely bride and the drunk. You two. Find the last one. She's the scrapper. Don't worry. We'll be perfect gentlemen. Now you heard the captain. Be a good up like your friend there. That's a good girl. Uh, hello? Oh, look at this. A little elfling with a stolen sword. Oh, sod. 
They killed her. Are you all right? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Thank the Maker. Hopefully, we can still save the others. Nella Ross is guarding the end of the hall. Let's figure this out with him. We should hurry before something happens. To the others. Right. What's this? I don't recognize you, Elf. Wait, is that blood? You're bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. I'm Ardwin, the cook's assistant. You're one of the girls they brought in, aren't you? They took the others to Lord Varm's room. You should hurry. He's not gentle with women. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Where did you get a weapon, elf? Uh-oh. You better talk quick, scum. Are you insane? You maggots are gonna die slowly. I sense... Something for you. you there'd be more. Elves run in packs, like rodents. Should we keep the knife here, bitch, alive? 
They killed our boys. She dies. Ha! <laughs> he squealed like a stuck pig when he died. <laughs> Let's see if you do too. Let's get started. Ow! Why don't we do it? Let's make sure it wasn't in vain. We should hurry before something happens to the others. Let's get started. This should be easy enough.
right. Should be easy enough. As you wish. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? Let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. Here's our situation. You are skilled, obviously. We fight here. Perhaps you could even manage to kill us. My father won't let that go. Your pigsty of an alienage will be burnt to the ground. Or you turn and walk away. With 40 sovereigns added to your purses, you take that money and leave Denerim tonight. No repercussions, and you can go wherever you like. The women stay. They'll go home tomorrow, slightly worse for wear, and you'll be long gone. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. A little ah, I can see why. After you! did the right thing, cousin. That's true. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? 
Nala didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. Nelleros, too. The guards killed him. I see. Would the rest of you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? Then the garrison could already be on their way. You have little time. Ah, oh, that it has come to this. The guards are here! Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. I seek Valenrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, Elder. You will not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. You expect me to believe one woman did all of that? We are not all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeon until the Earl returns. The rest of you... Back to your houses. Captain, a word, if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. Son of a tied down. Very well, Grey Warden. I cannot challenge your rights, but I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city today. Agreed. Now I need to get my men on the streets before this news hits. Move out! You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. I did not do this for your benefit. I needed a Grey Warden and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. As you always do. Well, I'd like to follow your example. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. Duncan got his recruit after all. No, I guess you wouldn't be. Young people never appreciate their roots until it's too late. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one, and make her keep you. Maybe this will be for the best. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry this isn't helping. Take care, my girl. Be safe and wise. And, well, you know, we'll all miss you. As you wish. There you are. Thank you. For me, for Saurus, for everything. I will, 
I swear it. Shiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Good luck, and thank you again. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? I'm all right. As far as the others know, Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. Make her watch over you. Get going before I embarrass us both. On it. Ostagar immediately. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? As do I, though I've not been in the palace for some time. Do you come from the alienage? Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. You think I care nothing about these things, but I do. I suppose trust will only come with proof. Things will change once we defeat the Darkspawn, in the alienages and all through Ferelden. For now, we must attend to war. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. You know, a king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. No, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, 
But I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. <laughs>